Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be my review of the Whale's two new mouse pads, the Riz, and I have the Pels here on my lap. These pads are quite different. I'm going to do this video in one segment, no cuts, no edits. I think I've had enough playtime on both of these pads to get my opinions across. The Pels is more of a fibrous pad and it feels clothy in terms of the texture. Um, but overall, it does kind of remind me of an Aqua Control. Again, just more fibrous and more natural cloth feeling as opposed to a hard hybrid surface. The Riz is just a buttery, smooth control pad, whereas the Pels is a little bit more balanced with a hair towards control. Both of the pads are exceptional in terms of quality. The stitching is thin and tight, which I think helps in not grinding over the stitching and getting hair stuck in the stitching and pulled while you're playing. The foam is 3.5 mil thick on both of these, easy to dig in and get extra control. And the base definitely looks like what you would expect from even an artisan pad, very high quality. The pads do not move when I have them on my desk. My current, well, my former current favorite control pad was the X10 Control, which to me is just less fun of an experience as the Riz, because the fibers are actually quite hard and more fibrous become a little bit abrasive feeling and itchy. You notice it while you're gliding in game, whereas the Riz is just this beautiful, just soft, buttery smooth experience. I think the Riz, you get even slower on dynamic. So increased dynamic friction, increased static friction over even the X10 control, which I think was just such a beautiful balance of static and dynamic for a control pad. I really enjoy it and I still love it today. But I think in terms of a pad to fill that void on the market and to offer a more comfortable, more enjoyable, and more fun experience, the Riz really does fill that. And I think right now it will be my favorite cloth control pad. In terms of the Riz, again, with form-fitted skates on my XE Wireless, I get high dynamic friction, high static friction, making for an overall slower experience, much slower than something like a Saturn Pro. It really is a full-blown control pad that I think does a very good job in just providing you that extra slowness, but never feeling like you're magnetized or stuck or glued to the pad. And I think that's the beautiful thing that you need for a very high quality and a control pad that works because those control pads that have that just magnetized feeling when you're gliding sometimes, I just find such an inconsistency with that type of feel. When you move to something lighter, like the Starlight 12 Small with dot skates, you actually get a more balanced experience, one that actually is quite a lot faster. With the dot skates, you can really dig into the pad and get that extra control when you need it manually. Um, but I do feel if you're very light on your mouse with a light small mouse like this with dots, it does become a faster experience, one that is rather balanced on dynamic and actually quite a bit faster on static than the form-fitted skates. And moving to what might be one of my favorite combos right now, the form-fitted super glides on the Riz. You just have this extremely, I shouldn't say extremely, but you have this uh, very fast experience one that is almost mirroring glass, maybe a little bit more control than glass, but just such a buttery smooth experience mixing the glass skates with the Riz. I never get a sense of muddiness or tug with this combination on the V2 glass skates and the Riz. Um, just a beautiful, fast experience, but one, again, with those Super Glide V2s that just has an immense amount of stopping power if and when I need it. Static friction feels very open, very just fast, but controllable. I don't feel as though it's ever too fast or slippery like some glass pads. And dynamic friction is very open and fast. I think it's just such a beautiful combo, that ultra smoothness that mirrors that speed that I'm getting with glass one that doesn't have maybe as much wiggle as some glass pads, a little bit more control, just a beautiful feeling experience. So if you're looking for a full blown, lower speed controlled surface, you can go with the form fitted skates. If you want kind of a balanced experience with more manual control, you can go for those dots. And then if you want a fast experience on the Riz, one that's just buttery smooth and just so much fun, the form fitted V2 Super Glides. Now, moving to the Pels, this is just a really nice experience, and it's very difficult kind of picking and choosing between the Pels and the Riz. 
I think the Riz is a little bit more unique, so I'm kind of leaning towards the Riz for my favorite. Uh, but the Pels is, again, a bit more of a fibrous pad, but one that you don't quite feel the fibrousness while you are gliding, especially with form-fitted skates, like the core pads on my XE Wireless. The experience is definitely more along the lines of something just under a Saturn Pro in terms of speed, a little bit slower. So kind of fitting that balance check mark with a hair towards control with the form-fitted PTFE. One that feels a lot faster than the Riz, um, but just very good in terms of a balance while maintaining a bit of control. So something that, in my opinion, would be very good for people that are looking for those track-heavy games and maybe just people who don't enjoy that additional slowness but want a little bit more control than a Saturn Pro. Same kind of thing here with the size of the mouse, the weight, as well as the skates. If you swap to the dots, the experience here is exceptionally fast on a small light mouse like the Starlight 12 Small with the dots, um, but you can just dig in so significantly with that uh, authentic feeling X-Soft type foam. Uh, even though this is a medium, it's just so pliable and easy to dig into at 3.5 mil. Um, it just feel, feels exceptionally good when you are looking for that change and that swap up and you're looking for that additional control. Again, when you swap over to the form-fitted glass, the pad becomes exceptionally fast, one that feels really good still, um, but just really fast on static and open and uh, very fast on dynamic as well. I think static actually feels faster uh, than dynamic. Dynamic has a bit more of a balanced feel. But both experiences between the Pels and the Riz in my playtime on both of these pads has been phenomenal. The GSR2 is a pad that feels kind of buttery fine as well in terms of smoothness, but it, the, uh, the fabric, the uh, texture here, you do have a bit of fibrousness compared to that baby buttery fine Riz. And I think the GSR2 just comes off uh, when you're looking for a control pad compared to the Riz side by side, it comes off as um, a lot faster than the Riz. So I think if you want just an authentic, slower experience, I would definitely recommend the Riz. I think the Riz is just higher quality in all respects. But I actually do really like the new GSR2. It actually feels good. I think the glide is nice, smooth, buttery, um, and a little bit faster than something like the Riz. Static, you do get a nice level of control, but it still feels open. I don't get that magnetized feeling either. Um, but it's just more along the lines of um, a speed that feels faster overall than what you are uh, getting out of a control pad like the Riz. So both of these pads are exceptional. I have enjoyed my experience and my playtime on both of these. Very hard, again, to pick my favorite out of the two. I think I'm leaning towards the Riz, but you're going to see me on both the Riz and the Pels for quite a while. I will be getting rid of a lot of my pads. In a video, I'm going to go over the pads that I'm getting rid of. I'm going to put them all in one big box, and I'm going to give them away to one of you guys. You're going to get a massive box of just mouse pads that um, kind of I'm just weeding out and doing a little bit of a spring cleaning. The Riz and the Pels are going to stay with me because I truly find them to be exceptional and enjoyable pads. I hope that helped, guys. If it did, please leave a sub to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next review. Peace.